Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to A Breath of Fire 3. Uh, a couple things to note. I have uh, switched basically all the fairies uh, over to either Exploration or Gift, because uh, we're probably going to be not seeing them for a little while. And um, I also noticed that you can get uh, replacement fairies of ones that have died. So if you, uh, you know, if you're playing normally and uh, one of your really good explorers dies, uh, you can get them again later. Of course, it's still a crapshoot. But I, I had one called Jill die, and then <laughs> not too much later, new fairy born, Jill. So let's go ahead and head up to the colony but before we do that let me make sure that I've got uh, proper equipment I've decided to put uh, Ray in instead of Nina and that's mainly just because he could use the levels uh, let's not have the holy mantle on right now let's try the ivory charm I don't need the life sandals on anymore. Go to the speed boots. And you can have double speed boots. Okay. So that gets uh, Ray's speed up to 72. Pretty good. I guess. Hello, monsters. How's it going? <clears throat> A thrasher. Let's go ahead and pilfer, and then just uh, have everyone else attack. Grab some more wisdom seeds. 62 XP, 110 Zenny. So yeah, Nina is level 38, so she really doesn't need any XP right now. I figured it'd be best to give it to someone like Ray. Okay, portal drive activated. Current location, relay point A. Enter the destination. Uh, we want to go to a Dragnir. Target Dragnir. Destination locked. I think we might have seen this in the uh, overworld when we were over by the fishing spot. There was a, a place that looked like a location we could visit. Hmm. Interesting decorations. I'm sure it means nothing. <clears throat> Hello? Hey, you! Did you just leave that building? Uh, yeah. Huh? Okay. He just runs off. What's this? Everyone, we must celebrate! Huh? Oh, you actually got visitors? Is that what's going on? Ooh, lots of food. Please be at ease. I am Griel, the patriarch of this village. Well, why do you have a plate with a head on it? I... Inquiring minds want to know. Kinda looks like a dog, too. All of us here are the same as you. We are all brood, Master Ald. What? Do not be alarmed, Guardian. We gave up our powers and fled here during the Great War. So as not to be found by us Guardians. <laughs> exactly. All in preparation for this moment. 
I like how she's raising her hand. This moment? What do you mean? You will know soon enough. But for now, please rest and be at ease. Oh, Dragon Prince and Noble Companions. Please eat this. This meat will restore the strength sapped by the desert's heat. What desert? We have been awaiting your coming, Ald, Prince of Dragons. It has been foretold for many generations. I always like being a child of prophecy. Well, okay, maybe not. After our defeat by our enemies, they tried to wipe us uh, from the face of the earth. To survive, our people either had to give up their power like we have here, like we have, or bury themselves deep, deep underground. I assume that's something that my mother did. For me. Our brethren who hid underground. Many of them entered a deep sleep after conceiving a child. They slept to await the time when one day the brood might walk the earth again. Right, a deep dragon sleeping in the earth, yeah. I've heard this legend before. In Dungeons and Dragons, admittedly. And now that day has arrived. The prince is soon to awake. But what if he uh, wants to be known as the artist formerly known as? Oh, do you have come here to the forgotten city of the brood, Dragnir? Call it destiny if you will. We can tell you where to find what it is you are seeking. Where to find your foe, the goddess Myria. <gasps> well, that explains the Myria icons, doesn't it? So then what are the late on it icons? Um what's going on? Oh, you must awaken to your true power. And then you must face the goddess. Not exactly sure who's saying who's asking if I'm awake. Ah, it's her. Ald, are you awake? Ald. You fell asleep after the banquet. If you're looking for your companions, they're all outside. Boy, they did eat up that food. Well, we got some shelves. Nothing. Anything here? You found skill ink. That's nice. Coming this far must have been a difficult journey. Eh, I mean, at times, I suppose. Nothing. Look who's awake. The brood are pretty amazing. Who would have thought they were still alive? Living in a forsaken place like this. Where do they get their food? I don't know how Gar feels right now, right about now. I mean, being in a city surrounded by people who used to be his enemies. He's over there looking depressed. Let's go try to cheer him up. I, I don't know if uh, cheering up is really going to be a thing we can do, but uh, we'll see. Oh, hey, Momo. Prince of Dragons. I must have been waiting for you to come and restore the brood to their former power. They sure are patient, aren't they? Looks like we can use the beds to rest. But now is not the time for that. Nothing. Oh, I guess that's the creature whose head we uh, ate. Ugh. Look, all Disney cute. It's called a Rakta. I mean, I guess. Kind of like a 
camel thing. Oh, I can't go in there? Are you in need of anything? Ooh, uh, Damascus Sword. Not as powerful. It is, uh... And the Damascus Mail isn't as good. Although, uh, it might be... I mean, it's a 5 drop on Ray, but I have bumped his agility up to 67. How many do we have of these? 74 vitamins. Just get a couple of ammonias, get, get back up to 20. I'll think about that, but uh, wait until I have uh, coupons on for the other things. Oh, they have different colors. Oof, oof. Oof. We no longer have any powers like yours, O oh Prince. We gave up our power that you might one day find your way here and fulfill your destiny. Gar. Once it was revered as Ladon, the dragon god. Oh! But now it is known as the god of travelers. Do you want to save? Sure. So, the only other one of these that we saw, and I didn't actually use it, was back on the... that early mountain where we went to fight the Nui. I think this might be one of... I think this might be the only other one in the game. But uh, now we know its uh, its name. So, we, we've been getting Ladon icons and Myria icons. Oh, there's uh, Gar. Anything else around here? Even if they've forgotten the war, I'm still the sworn enemy of every person in this village. I mean, you don't have to be. All the people here, they're suspicious of the fact that you, Ald, have brought me here with you. I've come with you on this trip, because I have lost my faith and have come to doubt my own actions of so long ago. But I know that is not a good enough reason for all the men and women of this village to trust me. The war has not ended in the hearts and minds of these people. Well, maybe so, Gar. But what are you getting all gloomy about? Okay, so uh, maybe the people here want all to take his power and go uh, teach your god a thing or two. And maybe it's not so realistic to think we can drop in on god and ask about the truth. But still, you're the one who told us to tag along if we wanted answers to our questions. You know what? You just plain think too much, you know? <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter what the villagers here think. What's important is what Ald thinks. Am I wrong? Ald, and the Elder wishes to meet with you. He is the eldest of us all. Of all the brood, only he remembers the Great War. Go to the well in the village center. The Elder awaits you inside, underground. T Interesting, putting uh, Gar in the lead. The Elder, the living history of our race, awaits you. Alright, but we want to swap our uh, party around a little bit. 
go talk to this guy. The Elder is waiting for you below. Enter whenever you are ready. Let's go out and see what we got around here. Give us an opportunity to change our party. Uh, okay, so we can get into the fairies that way. We have something called the factory up here, which is not a pass-through thing. So that is not going to be something that we can just walk on through. And yeah, we did see this uh, from over there. Well, let's go ahead and actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's camp. See what everyone has to say. The fact that there's a portal here means that this village has been here since the Techno Age. So the brood must have come here around the time of the wars. So the brood managed to survive only by giving up their powers and fleeing here from their enemies. So maybe the power of the brood is for killing and destruction after all. The brood. They don't seem like an evil race that must be destroyed. No matter what the Elder thinks, all has to meet him and learn the history of the Brood. When I think about how many generations of the Brood have lived and died in this barren, desolate land, I... I... Uh, okay, something took focus off of the... Ah, oh, yeah, okay. All right, let's go ahead and change our party members around because I want to have Momo. Oh, Ray was already in my party. <laughs> yeah, whatever. All right. Um. Hmm. Formation-wise, I should probably put uh, Ray there. So. Chain would be good, but we are going to be facing a pretty nasty... ...fight. But, if we go ahead and sacrifice a little bit of speed... Give you Piercing Edge. Give you... ...Force Armor. We're still looking at giving everyone 64 agility. Which isn't bad. Let's go check out that uh, other armor, see how it stacks up. I like the music here. All right, Damascus Mail is not as good as Force Armor. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. Uh, we are also going to be facing... Lightning and Fire Attacks. So when it says raises defense versus all attacks, I don't actually know if that uh, includes elemental attacks. I don't need uh, speed boots on. Alright, let's see. I think I'll go with the Ring of Fire. Oh, 
Okay, I think that'll uh, that'll do for us. Let's go ahead and uh, climb on down. This is quite likely to be one of the uh, more difficult fights we have, if I understand uh, the fact correctly. Uh, going up here. Oh, hello! Well, would you look at that? This is where that uh, that mural is. It's pretty awesome. Got Ox, got Nina, Blue, or Dees, uh, Bo, Ald, of course, and all of the tentacles from Miria, or a tear. Was she Miria? So, I'm not sure if she was Miria. She was Tear in the first game in the English translation. I don't know if that is a translation change offhand or not. I'm kind of suspecting so. What do we have in here? Nothing. Anything here? We found ivory dice. Are you hinting at me, game? It's probably worth trying. You've come. Welcome, old. I am the Elder Jono. Don't let my looks fool you. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Come here, my son. My son, did you see the mural as you came in? I did. I also saw it at the beginning of the game. And, like, literally every time I load up the game. That is a history of our people's struggle. Our people's history stretches back into the distant past, before even the Great War. It is the history of a struggle against a great recurring evil. Death Heaven? With each age, a warrior appears among the brood. With his allies, he carries on the struggle. I'd like to see the actual artwork of that. Against the evil that appears as a mortal, sometimes as a devil, that evil is no named Miria. Miria. The god of the Urkons. The god you are seeking. Yup. Of course. It seems the Urkons never refer to their god or their enemy, but the brood, by name. <laughs> Speaking of the Urkons, I want to talk to your friend, the Guardian. Bring him here. Oh. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can fight him. We're gonna be fight. We're gonna fight. Hey! I thought I told you to bring the Guardian. What, do you think I'm going to live forever? Hurry up! Alright, fine. All right, I guess we're not gonna... We're gonna have to be tested. Spoilers. <laughs> and I guess we'll have an opportunity to change party members afterwards, hopefully. Pretty sure we can. My fact definitely does not use Gar. It does not list Gar as one of their party members for the uh, for the fight. So, all right, Gar. I actually don't remember this part of the game very well. Uh, from when I uh, I remember getting over to this side of the the ocean. 
Uh, and I remember a lot of the details on the other side and stuff like that, but this part's a little bit of a blur, whereas the ending, the ending has stuck with me. Uh, and I'm looking forward to getting to that again. I love that mural. It's one of my favorite things about this game. Hey, I thought I told you to bring the Guardian. What, do you think I'm going to live forever? Hurry up! What, does he have to be in the lead? I guess so. I guess that explains why they put Gar into your party and put him into the lead. Back when we picked him up. Guardian, I have to hand it to you, Ar Urkots, and to Miria. When you decided to get rid of the brood, you didn't hold back at all, did you? But you must realize one truth. As long as you refuse to speak your god's name, or the name of your enemy, no one will ever know what became of us. Or why. Oh, on oh honorable Elder One. Do you hate us? Hate? There are maybe some among us who do. But I do not, Guardian. One cannot allow himself to be blinded by hatred or spill blood for a petty reason. What happened between the Urkhan and the Brood was fate. Fate, Honorable Elder One? What do you mean, Honorable Elder One? Please tell me. Stop calling me Elder One. You're every bit as old as I am. He's got a point there. I've had enough of talking to you. From now on, the only thing I want to see is a pretty girl. Understand? I made up my mind. I'm only going to talk to the women. Well. That's a thing. Okay. Uh... Even though we have two women, I think he wants Nina. Which would make sense, considering, you know, the mural right there, for example. Can I can I change party members in here? I, I bet I cannot. Nope, I gotta go out of town. Can I just bring everyone in? If I just put Nina into the party at the beginning, uh, well, when I went out, and Gar in, I wouldn't have to do this, but, uh, <laughs> whoopsie. That's what I get for only reading about the fight parts in the fact, huh? That's better. Now listen up, little lady. I'm going to tell you about the fate of the brood and the goddess Miria. Um, why me? I'm listening, Grandpa. <laughs> That's more like it. Good girl. Now listen close. The brood and Miria have always fought. Down through the ages and all across the world. Yeah, but the world is so small. Is it because she was trying to destroy the world, and the Brood were trying to protect it? 
It's not exactly that simple, child. Think about it. That would mean the world wouldn't be here after we lost the Great War, now would it? <laughs> Besides, the real danger to the world might be us brood. Our power is such that we could destroy the world, and the goddess Miria feared that strength, and decided to destroy us. But, so does that mean Ald is an evil dragon? Yeah, no, most definitely not. No, no, child. Don't, don't look at all the dead fairies. Don't get ahead of yourself. We lost the war because we didn't use our power. If we had fought back with all our power, we might have indeed destroyed the world. So you mean the brood were concerned with the fate of the world? They're not evil? Nice over-exaggerated sigh there, Nina. Well, that's not exactly right either. I want to tell you something important. So I want you to come up next to me here. Will you do that? Like this? That's it. Now kneel down. And give me a kiss. What? Alt, what should I do? <laughs> Why do you ask me? Do whatever you want. Hmm. Uh, I don't actually know what the difference is. Why do you ask me? Um, well, I don't know. Alright, let's see what uh, happens if I say, uh, do whatever you want. Right, okay. <laughs> so she still kisses uh, either way. Well, I got my kiss, so now I've no regrets. <laughs> it's time for me to do what I must. Oh, come here. Not yet. Now's the time to put our uh, party members in order. I don't know if that guy is supposed to recognize Nina as a descendant of the previous Ninas. Or what? I mean, Jono isn't a name that I recognize from the earlier games. I don't recall seeing anything indicating that he is a character from the earlier games. I'm guessing that he's just a dragon who was alive during the wars. Which would have been probably pretty far, pretty long after, um... Uh, pretty long after, uh... Breath of Fire 2. But when we come back next time, we will go see what uh, Jono has to say to Ald here. See you next time, everyone.